Welcome and welcome back, Collective. Today, we're going to see what the universe wants to share with you. Now, keep in mind that this is a timeless general reading, so allow it to resonate as it's meant to. All right, let's jump right in and see what the message is today. All right, we're going to start with the Oracle of Transcendence cards that I have created. Universe, what do you want to share with us today? Oh, the Psyche Chronicles, unveiling, unshackling resurgence. How interesting. So, you know, as you look at this card, understand it's a journey of self-discovery. The books bound in chains are your past experiences, your fears, your um, unprocessed emotions and the guidance that comes through with this card is it's time to unlock these books with the key of awareness and courage that you have so you know this card coming in as the focal point of this reading um, it beckons you to face something significant in your life right now to um, you know, like embrace the truth of something, you know, with the love and forgiveness. That way you can liberate yourself from the shadows that have been basically holding you back. So, you know, whatever this situation is that you're dealing with, um, you're being asked to really look deep to, you know, work on healing and reclaiming your light however that applies to your life specifically. So this is saying um, that you are allowing something to happen in your life because of your past experiences. And many of these might actually be unconscious. So something from your past is basically keeping you stuck in a situation that does not serve you. Um, I just heard abandonment issues. Ugh. Yeah, so maybe you are tolerating something in your life because you're afraid to be alone. Again, this might be unconscious. Were you abandoned as a child? Because that might still be lingering. Even if you feel like you're over it, you're healed. It could still be there in your energy. So... This card is here to say to you, you know, it's time to take a deep dive within and unlock what's keeping you stuck. How strange. I'm being shown a storm, um, a hurricane. Wow. Um, it's the top view looking down like you see on television with the Weather Channel. Um, but it's so oddly beautiful and mesmerizing, whoa, it's shifting. Um, now I'm being shown an environment like the ground view in this hurricane. I can feel the winds. I smell the salt in the air. Wow, what in the world is this? Um, uh, so maybe, maybe you live near the beach, maybe Maybe you've had to deal with a hurricane. Um, you know, allow it to resonate as it's meant to, but wow. Um, you know, looking down at the storm was definitely an entirely different experience um, than being like on the ground in the center of the storm. So, um, you know, maybe this is saying that you're in the center of some sort of like life changing storm, a, um, like a, like a metaphorical hurricane that's both daunting and awe inspiring because you're learning something. And you know, from a distance, it may seem strangely beautiful, but at the center, you know, you're at the center and that is an entirely different experience. It's overwhelming. It's intense. Um, you know, and the storm symbolizes like a pivotal period in your life. It's challenging yet um, 
it's like rich with hidden gifts from the universe, if that makes sense. And it's like this call, like, yeah, like it's a, like it's a call to reevaluate your perspective on something in your life. Now it's coming together for me. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you're being asked to look at things from a different perspective to basically see beyond. Wow. Okay. Now I'm getting it. Yeah. To see like, <clears throat> to see like beyond the chaos and understand something in a much deeper way to, you know, allow some sort of truth to be revealed to you. So let's get some more cards to see what else we can pull from the energy to bring clarity to this situation. All right, universe, what else can you share with us about this message? Ooh, two of wands. You stand at a crossroads. You're contemplating your next steps. Wow. Ten of swords. Confirmation with everything that I have been saying. You have reached a point where something needs to change. This is a pivotal moment in your life. Knight of Ariel. See, look, make a very detailed plan. You are being watched by someone. Yes, the universe is with you. Whoa. Four of Michael. Insights that come from quiet meditation. You need more sleep or time off. Seek relief from stress. Yes, so this card is like a reminder to take care of your mental health, to find peace within a place of stillness. The Psyche Chronicles, yep. When darkness descends, remember it's temporary. The light always returns. Yes, look at the lantern you're carrying in the Psyche Chronicles. They are attracted to your light for all the wrong reasons. And I just heard they benefit from you. Whoa, okay. They know they have issues, so they avoid you, so they don't hurt you. What they don't realize is you can heal them. Oh, that's interesting. So for someone, this is definitely a connection. This is definitely a relationship. Huh, this is interesting. I mean, I just heard um, life doesn't have to be like this like the storm there's another way to see it all wow yes oh wow and i'm here what is it mm. i it's trauma bonding whoa what trauma bonding so for someone this is trauma bonding so you've bonded with someone because of a shared like a traumatic experience some sort of trauma you know, and in trauma bonding, um, it leads to um, codependency, very uh, toxic dynamics. So for someone, this might be manifesting as a relationship that's more confining than basically liberating. And I feel like this may be for um, someone where you felt like you, like you could fix them. Yeah, like maybe save them, help them in some way. So for whoever this is for, I feel like there's like, um, like empathy, like you empathize with them and what they've been through. Um, and it feels like you believe that you could make things better for them. However, instead of helping them, you got pulled. Oh yeah, like I can feel this energy. Like you got um, basically pulled into the eye of the storm, so to speak, and they have brought you nothing but chaos. This, um, this chaos though, like I feel like I said, abandonment issues, it's like it's linked to your past, like you're allowing this because of something that you have been through, like you feel like you can save them, fix them, they, maybe they remind you of someone um, from your past, someone from your childhood that maybe you couldn't save, but now maybe this is even unconscious, like unconsciously they remind you of someone and you're, you know, going about this 
to save them, like if you could just love them or heal them or keep them away from bad people. Wow, this is coming through in a lot of different ways. Um, so yeah, the Psyche Chronicles, the universe is very clear in the message that it's time to be conscious of this pattern that you have. So the Psyche Chronicles card is urging you to confront these truths, to recognize and then break free from these, um, you know, unhealthy patterns, um, unhealthy attachments that are holding you back, that are keeping you stuck. And this relationship, however it applies, um, is really stunting your growth. Um, so yeah, for someone, for many of you, this feels big, so it could be for a lot of you that are listening, you are entangled in some sort of really complex relationship. This doesn't have to be romantic, but it's definitely complex. This energy feels very unbalanced. It feels very unstable. So this connection, however it applies there, it, it's like fluctuations of closeness and distance, jealousy and insecurity, and it just feels very taxing, however it applies, and you're allowing it, you're entertaining it, you are continuing down this path even though you see that it's not going well and you're doing this because of your past so the universe is saying you have to go within and heal it's time you know the psyche chronicles card shows your depths the baggage the scars the pain um, and basically how you remain trapped in these experiences, again, even if you're not conscious of them. And the universe is saying it's time to come face to face with this truth, you know, of something within yourself that needs to be healed. You need to break free of it, let go of the weight and baggage that you're carrying so that you can heal, so that you can be released from whatever toxic relationship you may be in. So yeah, if this, you know, is in correlation to some sort of unhealthy relationship that you're dealing with, the universe is saying it's time to unshackle yourself from this relationship that's actually holding you back. Um, you know, and it could be that you have actually started to do some sort of healing work, shadow work, that's actually helping you see um, you know, your traumas in a new light. And in this new light, you're starting to realize that someone in your life is not actually helping you grow, but they're actually keeping you anchored. They're like, um, like the weeds in your garden and they're hindering your growth. So this might be some sort of pivotal moment in your life with the two of wands that's saying, now that you see it, what are you going to do? What are you going to do to free yourself from this toxic situation and heal? You know, um, I'm hearing air signs. So that might have significance for you. That's um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, you know? And for someone, I feel like the hurricane metaphor, so to speak, is... Um, for two people in a relationship that are both air signs, I'm, this is very specific, Gemini, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aquarius, Libra. Yeah. So this is going to be very specific for someone, but you are two air signs in a relationship. And it's like, um, I'm hearing category five. It's like hurricane intensity between you two. So when it's good, it's great. It's passionate. It is intense in all good ways that drives you crazy. But when it's bad, it is so bad. It's like a category five hurricane where there's nothing left standing when you two are done with each other. Wow. Ooh, this is giving me chills. 
Wow, you two are intense. Oh my goodness. Whew. That was, wow. So if your air sign's in a relationship, there might be some extreme toxicity with you two. And what's actually keeping you together is the flip side of that, that passion and that intensity that's holding you two together, even though it's actually tearing you apart. If that makes sense, that's how the energy is coming through right now. And it's a lot to take in. Wow. So allow it to resonate, you know, as it's meant to, if that's for you. Whew. Oh my goodness. Wow. That was a lot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So what I'm seeing here is the universe's message is very clear. If this card has come into your life and you're resonating with it in any level, this is your wake up call that it's time. It's time to break free from this toxicity, from this unhealthy attachment that's like a category five hurricane in your life. The storm, you know, is basically a sign from the universe that you're ready to see the truth and you're ready to move forward. It's not going to be easy. You know, just like it says, when darkness descends, remember that it's only temporary and it's always darkest before dawn. This person may not be okay with you ending things. This person may not be okay with you putting distance between you. This person may not be okay with you actually healing. Okay, and it may get dark and the storm may get crazy, but you will get through it and you have to go through it to heal, to release, to let go. It has to happen and you're ready. The universe is saying you're holding the lantern. You're looking at the truth and now you're ready to unlock the chains, you know, and move forward. So be brave enough to take this next step, be brave enough to unlock the chains and, you know, realize that you're worthy of this and you deserve better than whatever it is that you've been dealing with. And it's time to heal and let go. Wow. What a reading. Oh my goodness. The energy that came through in this reading. Um, so that's all I've got for you, Collective. Thank you so very much for joining me. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my future readings. I look forward to seeing you in the next reading.